OK, so today we're going to look at how you can make the most out of your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer and get things done in a fraction of the time. Stay with us. All the details coming up shortly. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. So as I say, in Windows 10 and Windows 11, there are loads of little shortcuts, meaning that you can get things done a lot, lot quicker. So first of all, we're going to have a look at loading programs. So normally, if you want to go and load a program, you'd use the mouse, you'd go down there, you'd click on the start button and you'd try and find the program. Let's just make the camera of the keyboard a little bit smaller. So you go to all apps just up there and you'd then have to scroll down and try and find the program that you want <coughs> or the app that you want. So say, for instance, I was looking for PowerPoint. So they go scroll down, scroll. Oh, missed it. So let's just scroll up again. And there it is. PowerPoint just there. I'd click on it and yet it would then load. But there is a much, much quicker way of doing this. So all we need to do is I'm just going to make the keyboard a little bit bigger on the screen there. So I'm going to press the Windows key, which is just there. It's on most computers, most Windows computers. The symbol might be a little bit different. This one is a oldish computer. So the symbol is of its time, the Windows start button. So tap that and then just start to type the name of the program. So I've typed in power. And as you can see there up on the screen on the start menu, it's come up PowerPoint. And all I've got to do is just move my mouse over it, left click once and hey presto, it's now loading. And you can do that with absolutely any program. So if I was to, like say, press the Windows key and just type Word, so start to type it and there you go, Word comes up under best match, move your mouse over it, left click once and there you go word loads. So as well as loading a program quickly, we can also shut a program down quickly. Now, normally you'd move your mouse up to the top right hand corner, click on the cross and then it closes down. But there is a quicker way. All you do is just hold down the ALT key, which is just down there, and then tap the F4 key, which is at the top of your keyboard just there. So hold that down and then tap F4, it exits out of the program. If it needs to save changes, then it'll ask you whether or not to save changes. So what if you wanted to print the page on the screen? Now, what you can do is you can go up to the three dots up there and go down to print and then click on that and then print it. Or what you could do to speed things up is to hold down the CTRL key, which is just there and the letter, tap the letter P, P for print. So if I do that, hold down the CTRL key, tap the letter P and there you go. The print box comes up on the screen and then all I have to do is then click on print down there. And that command again will work in virtually any app or program. What about if I want to scroll down the page? Now, if I wanted to, I could go across to the scroll bar there, hold down the left mouse and just scroll down or for ease, I can just put two fingers on the touchpad if I've got a laptop and scroll downwards or scroll upwards with the two fingers. And as you can see, there you go, it's going up or down. If there was more to the left or right, I could do the same with the left or right scroll, but this page only has up or down. And something we tell you to do quite regularly is save your work just in case a program crashes. So normally you could go up to the little disk up there or go to file and then to save down there. But there is once again a quicker way. And this again works in any program. Just hold down the control key. That's all the CTRL key in the bottom left hand corner of the keyboard and tap the letter S, S for save. And if you haven't saved it already under a certain name, it will prompt you to uh, give it a name. So uh, let's just save that. Let's just type test. And here, once I've typed that in, I could go down to save down the bottom there, or I could just simply hit the enter button on the keyboard to confirm. And there we go. The box now disappears. Now, if I make any further changes to this document, so if I go down to say date and change that 
to say today's date let's just do that and i want to then save it i can then just pre hold down the ctrl key and tap the letter s for save and there you go it's saved and it won't actually come up and prompt us to give it a name because we've already given it a name so and you can keep doing that throughout your document as you're updating you can just hold down the ctrl key and tap the letter s just to save it at different stages again this will work in most apps and programs not only word also say if you wanted to type something in in bold say for instance i wanted to just put something at the bottom of the document there that i wanted it in bold i can hold down the ctrl key and type and tap the letter b b for bold and then when i type it it then comes out in bold if i want to take it off bold then just hold down the ctrl key and tap b again and that puts it back into plain non-bold text if i wanted to do it in italics i can just hold down the ctrl key and tap i for italics and there we go now when i type italics it comes out in italics or whatever i wanted to type if i want to take it off italics again hold down the ctrl key and tap i if i want to do it underline then i can hold down the ctrl key and tap u and when i type there you go it's underlined or i can do a combination if i want to do it bold and underlined or bold and italics i can just hold down the ctrl key tap b and then tap i and i can just type that's bold underlined and in italics it's underlined still because i had the underline already selected from before now what if i want to copy and paste a document from one to another well what i can do is i can either manually select the selection that i want and then hold down the ctrl key and tap the letter c c for copy and then go into a new document and i think we can do control n n for new there we go and then i can hold down the control and tap the letter v and there you go that's just copied um, and pasted whatever i selected there now what if i wanted to select the whole document then what i can do is i can go back to my previous document that i had on the screen there and hold down the ctrl key and tap the letter a a for all and that selects everything and then do control c for copy and then do control n for a new document or just go into the new document and then tap the letter or hold down control and tap the letter v v for victor and there you go that has copied the whole lot across so what if you wanted to open an app quickly using shortcut keys well i'm just going to show you how we can open up chrome with shortcut keys so you can do this again with any program so i'm just going to tap on the start button to get the start menu up type in the name of the app that we want to set as a shortcut or with the shortcut key so in my case it's chrome okay i'm going to move my mouse over the name of the app click on the right mouse button and then left click open file location and then we find there you go there's google chrome or the app we selected down there move your mouse over it click the right mouse button again and then go up to properties and left click and there we've got shortcut key it should say none in there if i tap in there okay hold down the control key and the shift key and then say for instance tap c for chrome there we go that means if i hold down control shift and c it should open up chrome now obviously there's a limited number of uh, key commands that you can use or shortcut keys you can use for this because some of them are already reserved so let's just click on apply and then let's click on continue there if it says it needs to provide administrator permissions and then click on OK. Let's close this window down. So I'm going to do control, oh sorry, Alt F4 to close the window down and let's hold down control shift and then tap the letter C. Hopefully Chrome should come up. There we go. Chrome has loaded. As I say, you can do this in any app or program or virtually any app anyway. If you wanted to find out more commands, then if I just go to the menu saying Chrome and you will see on the menu there 
there are lots of things there that say control and so you've got for instance control and t brings up a new tab so control n is new window control shift and n is new incognito window downloads is control j print as we've went through earlier is control p but this one's a good one control f which is find and i find this one quite useful again you can use this in any program so say for instance i was trying to find something in the page then i can hold down the control key or ctrl key and tap the letter f for find again this will work in many different programs as well i've got a search box now come up in the top right hand corner of the screen and say if i was looking for the word wind on this page and there you go i've typed it in and as you can see there it's highlighted winds up there i want to go to the next occurrence of wind and i can tap that there and in actual fact it's behind the picture of the keyboard there it is if i want to exit out of this find i can just press the escape key at the top there and the escape key is a way of exiting out of a lot of things to another little shortcut for you there but it doesn't always work if it doesn't escape doesn't work then try the alt and f4 and that should bring you out too you can also exit out of windows using alt and f4 once you've closed all your programs down and you're back to the desktop you can then hold down the alt key tap f4 and it says do you want to shut down and then just press the enter button on the keyboard and windows will then shut down so there we go some great little tips to help you get things done much much faster in windows 10 and windows 11 i hope you like this video and if you did consider hitting that thanks button and making a donation to this channel or have a look down below in the description have a look at my amazon store we've got lots of things in there for you and also we've got links down there if you're in the market for a new vpn a fire tv stick or fire tv cube buying subscribing and donating really does help support this channel it helps me to be able to dedicate more time into researching and bringing you these great videos and whilst you're at my youtube channel why not stick around i've got thousands of other videos for you right here right now covering in all sorts of subjects hopefully whilst you're here you're going to find something to educate you entertain you amuse you and maybe even save you some more time and money and if you haven't hit that subscribe button please make sure you hit that button now to find out about all my latest videos as soon as they're released i'm bound to do more videos on this matter of saving you time in windows in the near future so don't miss out on those thanks very much for watching